but go ahead. What, uh, what do you take away from that second preseason game? Uh, just more learning ops, right? Uh, again, a lot of um, a lot of new guys out there, you know, a lot of rookies, uh, a lot of second year guys just playing in, in uh, their second preseason game of this year. So good for Stetson to go out there as you know the, as the starter. Um, in terms of just, you know, how different that is, you know, coming in as a starter compared to being, uh, you know, the number two. So um, some good, some bad, and some in between, and, and uh, a lot of things to coach off of. One thing that he's seemingly showing Mac for already is the ability to bounce back and move Absolutely. on from mistakes pretty quickly. In what ways did you see him do that? Yeah, no, I mean, you could you could totally see it. I mean, just the resiliency of him, right? Um, obviously, we came out uh, of that uh, – you know, at halftime or whatever, and went three and out or four and out, whatever it was, and uh, he was going to get two series. It was either going to be one series if it was good or two series if uh, the first series didn't go so well. And, you know, for him to, to finish uh, with that, uh, you know, offensive group with you know in the end zone and uh, in, in a pretty productive drive right there was uh, was good to see. And like you said, I mean, he has – he has the ability to bounce back. You don't see any any type of anything in his eyes except he just wants to be back out there, you know, and that's from practice or the game, so. Yeah, just uh, I think there's two things, you know, not making the same mistake twice, right? You're going to be shuffling these guys around. They're going from left tackle to right guard in some instances, but and then obviously just shuffling around within right guard to left guard, what what have you. So uh, you know mistakes are going to be made, but how can you uh, correct those mistakes, making sure that moving forward they don't happen, um, you know? And then really the continuity. Um, don't have great continuity right now because of you know whether it be injuries or moving guys around and th- and that's that's understood we understand that but but when there is a time where we have the same five guys out there for a string of plays you know how well are they working off of each other how well are their combinations how well are they uh, passing off games so every day is an evaluation not just to see who our best five are going to be but to see who um, you know how those guys are working together. Looking at one side specifically, a red offensive line. What do you like about what you've gotten from Alaric and Steve? Well, and kind of what I was just saying right there, you know, just because of what's been going on with, with, with Boom, um, you know, being able to, for those guys to get used to each other, playing off of each other. I thought they got better as the game went on uh, as well, which, again, you'd like to see. Uh, they got settled in. Again, it's Steve's second game ever, you know, albeit the preseason. And Alaric hasn't played a ton of football in his career. He's still a young man as well. So uh, those guys, I thought they got better. I thought they did uh, – particularly a good job as the game went on in pass protection, clearing out the pocket. Steve had, had one working off of, uh, you know, a DN kind of um, working a little spin move, I guess you could say, in Alaric and, and Steve, you know, putting that guy on the ground. So, and, uh, and, and enjoying his work too, if you guys saw that. So, um, you know, it's good for those guys to get the reps together. And, and I thought it showed as the game went on. Yeah, no, I really ever since COVID, you almost kind of prepare for the worst now, right? And so um, whether he's going to go to the defensive side or not, we always communicate that. Sean's as good of a communicator, if not the best I've ever been around in terms of just, you know, the day-to-day, what's going to go on. But I prepare as if he's not going to be there, if he has to run out of here because Veronica's pregnant, you know, <laughs> something like that. I mean, you just got to always be prepared for those situations, you know, so um, – that's just kind of the process I go through, and then, uh, but we're always going to talk about, hey, this is what we want to get done. Even though it's going to be a move the ball situation, we're still in training camp. We still want to check some boxes in terms of what we're trying to get done schematically, what we're trying to see from you know each uh, individual player, and uh, you know make sure we're checking those boxes uh, even when we're in those joint practices. in a way, sure. like understanding how and why and, and all of that. Um, what was that like for you? And did you learn anything about yourself and, and um, how you were evolving as a teacher moving forward? Um, well, you know, going back to the first question, I mean, it's uh, the, the onboarding. And, and I've been in this system 
per se, you know, since I got in the NFL, but every system has branched off into its own, you know, and so to be able to get the, the especially when we'd study them, I mean, we'd study as much of the Rams as, you know, I guess Sean studied Kyle and what we were doing in, in San Francisco, and you kind of knew, I mean, you, you could, you know, kind of figure it out, but you didn't know the, the full details unless you're in the room, so that was just a really good process to, hey, this is how we were doing it in New York or San Francisco, but then to get the, the, the foundation of it um, was huge, and, you know, it's like anything else, to your second question, you're always just trying to grow, right, and uh, there's, there was no egos at all in, in terms of putting this thing together, and we're not even done yet. Uh, we still got a few more weeks before we're, you know, really preparing for for Seattle. Um, so we're still piecing this thing together in, in what we believe is the right way. And uh, you know, Sean's as good as anyone in terms of taking input and then and making it work for our system, not just because it, you know, sounds good or it's a good play. Can you, can you talk a little bit more about, um, you know, you're not inexperienced with young rosters. You've coached a lot of young players in your time. Yes. Yeah, that's it's a great question because there's a lot of truth to that, you know. Especially when we got to San Francisco in '17, it was a young roster. Obviously, New York in '21 is an extremely young uh, roster. So you um, can't. It's not like you're talking to Stafford and Cup, who have have seen so much and and had so many experiences and, and been in a system for you know however many years and. Uh, you gotta you gotta go back to square one, you know, and it challenges you as a coach. Like, hey, he's not figuring this thing out. So, what am I doing wrong that that this guy is not absorbing the information that I'm trying to give him? And uh, sometimes less is more when you're doing that, you know. So, uh, every step of the way that you know, particularly when it's been a first year, but we we treated this year like it was first year. Yeah, you have Stafford, you have Cup, Higgs, those guys that that have the foundation of it. But we knew there was going to be a lot of new faces, whether it be a backup quarterback or or just across the board, you know. So we went back to the uh, the kind of the drawing board with it and how, how we're going to coach it day one. I know Sean's made mention that it feels like 2017 in a good way sometimes, you know, in terms of all the new faces and, and how we're trying to get this thing constructed. David Cowan's had a ton of balls, even for a preseason game. Is that a matter of second taking advantage of some things the Raiders are working on, or is he flashing some skills just that might translate? Uh, a little bit of both. I mean, you know, the, the, the progressions and the ball was getting to him, you know, at the right time. Uh, but he, he definitely has the traits in terms of, I mean, he has – however you want his soft hands i mean when when you watch him catch the catch the ball it's effortless and you know there's just certain guys that when that ball hits their gloves it just sounds right you know and he has uh, very confident hands soft hands um he's obviously a big guy but he's also got some range when that ball is not necessarily on his body the flexibility uh, you know he made that play on the seam uh, where that safety really made a great play i mean that was a Bang, bang by Stetson was awesome on it. Um, Davis was awesome on it. And I thought their safety played it as well as anyone. It's just bigger body and great throw, you know. So it, it was cool to um, get him out there both in the run game and the pass game. Obviously, he's missed a considerable amount of time, but uh, he's, uh, he's got something to him. He's got an edge to him, too, which is, which is nice. Thank you. you guys good? Thanks. Thanks, y'all.